What is going on everybody? My name is Nico and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Today I am hitting just the casual battles ladder. Uh, I'm messing around with this Tinglu team that I have built. My Ting Uwu team as you see. But the issue becomes um, that this is, you know, not allowed yet. For whatever reason, you know, Pokemon doesn't like this to practice on the actual cart. They want us to practice a showdown and uh regulation c opens the same day as fort wayne now there is no rental team or poke paste for this particular team because i'm still messing and fine tuning it to get it exactly how i want it because this might be the team that i take to fort wayne i've got a couple teams that i'm working on this might be the one but i wanted to show it off and just mess around with it here for a video today so if this is your first time here on the channel make sure you are sub for more videos like this in the future but let's get into it all right i mean it's not like and it's not like it's not regulation C, so I, I guess we'll play it. Um, what do I like here? Probably have Defiant on their bird there, so I'm gonna bring my own and maybe bring my bundle in the lead. And from there, I'm thinking Fluttermane and. Hmm. This is kind of tricky. Actually, I kind of think I'm going to bring Iron Hands in the lead as well. And then I can bring Bundle and Flutter in the back. Pig and Braviary, all shinies. Love to see it. Okay. So I think turn one, what we do is match their Tailwind and go for a fake out onto whatever Grum Pig is going to do. I think that's the play. Grum Pig's a pretty good shiny. Always forget, it's a really decent looking shiny. I have no idea what this Grum Pig's going to do. So fake out comes out, Grumpig gets smacked. That did a lot of damage. And Tailwind goes up. Um, I think I'm okay going for a bulk up this turn and just going for a Thunder Punch into the Braviary slot. Brave Bird comes out into Iron Hands. Pretty decent damage. As well as Psy Shock. Okay. That's gonna hurt. We get a bulk up off for free, though. And we go for Thunder Punch. Braviary actually holds on there. Oh, but we get the Para. Look at that. We get the Para. Got a berry, okay. Now, what I think we need to do is just go for Brave Bird and a Grump Pig and rotate out into. Actually, I don't even know that I need to rotate out necessarily. I think we can go for Brave Bird here and just Volt Switch. I don't know if we necessarily need Iron Hands, and I don't really want to take the damage. Brave Bird comes out. Oh, uh, Grumpig actually holds on there. Wow. Post combat. Minimal damage there, so we're good. Um, This turn, I'm okay bringing Bundle in. We want to get our Bundle in. Bundle comes to play, and with the drop... We're in really good shape, actually, because we can go for a Icy Wind, and the drop should KO. We can go for a Bulk Up for free. What in the world? That Grumpig survived that? What is its special defense? Bulk Up. Ah, 
Power gem. I actually can't believe that Grumpig held on. It's got to have the craziest special defense ever. Alright, Tailwinds are down. Breloom is going to come in here. So, we can go for a Brave Bird and just go for a, another Icy Wind to break its Sash. And ideally, that puts us at a point where we outspeed with Corviknight. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Alright, Great Tusk is the last Pokemon. And it's got a booster energy. Okay. Um, so we just go for Brave Bird and Icy Wind. That should put it in just the right range for... Oh. Maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. I thought Corviknight might outspeed it then. And Brave Bird comes out. That'll clean up the game for us. Very nice. Corviknight is such a fun Pokemon to use. Alright, this is a Series 1 team if I've ever seen it. Okay. Series 1 team that does not like Fluttermane's existence. I'm down to lead these two here. We can match the Tailwind. Ting Lu goes here for sure. And then I'm thinking that Bundle does or Arcanine. Honestly, either or is pretty good. Um... I think I'm preferring the bundle. Alright, so this turn we can just go with Tailwind and Protect. Just to see if they go for a Terra of some sort. Let's see what they do. They're gonna match our Tailwind. Keeble. Oh, that's choice specs for sure. Oh, they crit though. They crit though. Okay. That makes things interesting. Ting Lu can come out. Um... We can Stomping Tantrum here and go for a Dazzling Gleam. Was not expecting the T-Bolt. Why'd they haste? Do they think that that fixes the beads? So they go for a T-Bolt into our Flutter. Dazzling Gleam comes off. Good damage on the Murkrow. And Stompy Tantrum comes out. They have to be Specs because they use it again. Uh, we still don't need to... Um, we don't need to worry about uh, tearing quite yet. 
We can hold on to our Terra for sure. They have to be locked into that Thunderbolt. Goldengo's gonna get swapped out here. And Gengar's gonna come in. That's fine. It's still gonna do a lot of damage to Gengar. We protect here. Urkrow's gonna use foul play into the flutter, but that's okay. We protect it. And this is gonna do really big damage to Gengar. Brings it down to Sash. Um, we should be, they have Tailwind still. What's our last Pokemon? Bundle? So I'm okay going for a Heavy Slam. Uh, actually I'm going to go for Throat Chop. And I'm going to Terra and Deeglin. My hope with Terra is I can take a hit. I doubt it. I very seriously doubt at this health I can take a hit from that Gengar. But that's my hope and dream. They went to use Tailwind again, but the Tailwind's not up. They actually just go for an Icy. So that gives us a free KO on both Pokemon. Eagleam comes out. Perfect. Okay. We are slow. We have to be careful of that. We are slow now. See, they are now out of Tailwind as well. What are their last two Pokemon? Goldengo and what? Dragonite. Perfect. So they can E-Speed us now, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, we go for Stomping Tantrum on the Goldengo, and we just protect this turn. I'd imagine their Terra will come out now. They went for the Make It Rain. That did decent damage to Ting Lu. But we got our berry. Nice. It means we should be able to take whatever Dragonite's about to do. Oh, that was not okay. I got nervous there, that's for sure. Okay, Goldango gets smacked. But, on the bright side, we can go for Throat Chop and Moonblast now. And we can clean up with Bundle. So E-Speed comes out. Not enough. Tanky Deer. Tanky Deer ate his Wheaties out that cereal bowl. Boom. Very nice. Oh, it was a crit. It was a crit. Did it matter? Was it multi-scale? You'll never know. You'll never know. Bundle. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I know we're playing casual battles, but I figured we'd see something else. Um... Arcanine kind of goes here.
This is it's so weird. It's so weird playing these casuals. Oh, is this a kaiju themed team? That's kind of cool. I do like that. I think I just D Gleam here and fake out the Hydreigon. I didn't figure that'd give me T-Tar. I didn't figure that would do anything for T-Tar. I was expecting them to Terra the Hydreigon. EQ comes out. Ouch. Mothra comes out. It is a Kaiju themed team. That's really cool. Um, so this turn, I think we just got to we let Fluttermane go? I think so. I think we could go for this. Yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't look like they're planning to Terra. Good damage. They're gonna quiver dance up. Go for iron defense. Really? Drain punch comes out. Nice little chunk back. All right. What's our last Pokemon? Garchomp. Okay. So this turn, we can protect Flutter. And... Protect Flutter, we could get in Arcanine here. I don't hate the idea of this. It's not going to feel good taking an EQ from this. But I'm hoping with the minus one, we'll be in better shape. A Terra's going to come out on their side. Water Terra. Okay. Go for Flame Charge. Perfect. Why'd they go for Flame Charge? Why'd they Quiver Dance and Flame Charge? Liquidation. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, hold on. How about that? Okay. So, I mean, we can try for a Willow. We can even Terra, honestly. I think I kind of like that idea. So we can go for a Shadow Ball and Terra to get a burn. do enough yes I didn't know with the quiver dance you never know Willow comes out
We go down to sand though, yeah. <laughs> All right, bundle can come in. And we go for a freeze dry here and we can get in iron hands because we are not afraid of this pokemon anymore no longer after uh intimidate and a burn no longer are we worried about this pokemon we miss rock tomb and they're out of sandstorm So we go for freeze dry, fake out, and that should be it. I like the kaiju theme though, that was really cool. That was super cool. Oh, that just does enough. Was not expecting that. All right, we'll do one more battle just because we've had issues finding actual regulation C team. We'll see if we can find one. Uh, we did not find one, but uh, interesting nonetheless, there's a ditto there and I'm interested in finding out why. So we've got our iron hands. Bundle. Flutter and thinking Arcanine yeah we'll bring Arcanine we'll just save Terra we don't really need Terra on any of these other Pokemon all right so Palafin I'd imagine it's just to protect on their bundle this turn, but we go for freeze dry on it. Yep. Okay, so based on that. So next turn, I think what we do is Volt Switch out here and get in, not sure what quite yet. Oh, uh, but we protect bundle this turn. going for freeze dry so I'm okay now just going for drain punch here and just switching in Arcanine into that slot we're gonna protect on their iron hands. Interesting. Alright, so this turn we go for a Drain Punch and we'll go for a Terra Water Will-O-Wisp here. Please be Palafin. No, it's their Ditto. Smart play. Actually, 
some water is going to come out. I still did a ton. You love to see that. All right, so this turn I can get my own bundle in pretty free and go for just a snarl, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm just going to go for a snarl because they probably go for a burn on the iron hands. Did they go for freeze dry? No, chilling water. Okay. Um, so we can go for Honestly, let's just try and match the tie and get Iron Hands back in over here. Perfect. Go for a Snarl. That's fine. What comes out? Halifin comes out. We can get back in our Arcanine here. And go for a... You know, I'm I'm torn here. Quite torn. I think we go for Thunder Punch regardless. We gotta get some health off of that palafin. Terra water. What Terra does Ditto take? Shut punch me. Oh, on the iron hands of all things. Not what I expected. We're gonna snarl again instead of will o wisp. Okay, they might have just thrown. Thunder punch comes out, and yeah, they they threw. Oh, that was a crit. That was a crit. I have to say. What's left? Iron hands. Forgot about that guy. Um, this turn we could protect and go for a drain punch onto Arcanine. Perfect. There's the burn. So we can Will-O-Wisp over here, and we can Volt Switch over here. That way we can get our... Of course we miss. Why would we not? We 
we can both switch out here. And get in. Flutter. They go for Wild Charge into Arcanine. Get our Iron Hands back in. So now what we do is we just fake out their Iron Hands and go for a Dazzling Gleam. And that way we do some good chip. Arcanine can't knock us out. There we go. Fake out comes out. D Gleam comes out. It did no. No damage. No damage. What? Okay, interesting. Snarl comes out. That was expected. Alright, this is interesting. So I want to Drain Punch first, and then I'm going to Protect. That way I can get a little more Chip. A little more chip, and I feel like we're in a good spot. We'll protect Arcanine. Not really sure why. We Drain Punch. I feel like we can do it now. We go for EQ. That's going to take out Iron Hands. This is a pretty close battle. Uh, Bundle can come back. This gets tricky. So pretty much we have to hope we get the Hydro Pump land. And we have to hope we can do enough damage with Moonblast. We miss, naturally. Why wouldn't we? Moonblast do enough. Oh no! Oh my gosh, you're joking. Oh no. Wild Charge should just KO. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're joking me. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Wow. <laughs> that's so unfortunate oh that's funny all right that is gonna be it for this video guys i hope you all enjoyed the battles and if you did leave a like and subscribe like i said there is no current poke paste or rental code for this team however there will be a future video while i'm at fort wayne that will go up with the actual team so you guys can check out the rental code then but until next time peace